Well, hi there, everybody. My name's John Aining. I'm a consultant urological surgeon at the Bristol Urological Institute, and I'm a prostate cancer specialist, and I also specialize in performing robotic radical prostatectomy. The Southmead Hospital, uh, Bristol Urological Institute, is one of the highest volume centers in the UK. And um, we're fortunate to also be at the cutting edge of robotic technology. So we've been practicing robotic surgery since 2007, um, and we treat over 300 patients each year. And individually as surgeons, we treat over 100 patients. We're fortunate to run a, a, a number or a portfolio of clinical trials, which I think is really important in the delivery of optimum care for patients. We have trials in the diagnostic aspects of prostate cancer, we have trials running in the treatment assets of prostate cancer in localized and advanced disease. And I think this is really important for patients in terms of opportunities to maximize survival and also to improve outcomes after surgery. And one of my key research interests is making sure that patients get the best possible outcome after surgery. Just to talk about two of the studies that we're running currently. So the NeuroSafe study is a study looking at how we can improve the quality of nerve sparing at the time of radical prostatectomy. The importance of this study is that conventionally, if you have a robotic radical prostatectomy, you might have a 20% chance of regaining natural erections after surgery. With a nerve spare procedure, this can be raised to 50 to 70 percent but sometimes there is concern about the risk of leaving positive margins at the time of your nerve spare one of the benefits of or the purported benefits of the neurosafe technique is that at the time of your surgery your prostate is sent off for analysis and when we examine the margins we can check that the margins are negative for cancer which means we can, with much more confidence, perform a nerve sparing uh, procedure optimally. Um, and the outcomes of this trial are awaited, but certainly from a pragmatic perspective, things are going well. One of the things that I was asked to talk about, and I think it's really important, is you know what can you expect after receiving a robotic radical prostatectomy in my hands or at the Southmead Centre? And I think from, from your perspective, you can expect that we will see you and talk to you about your disease and your personal characteristics prior to your surgery. We'll then counsel you appropriately depending on you and talk about factors specific to you that might affect your outcomes after surgery. So in our centre, we prioritise um, treating you as an individual and managing you holistically and and that means that when we see you for the first time we'll always counsel you with regards to your specific cancer characteristics and you in a, as an individual and what's important for you from a surgery perspective you'll all be aware that the main risks of surgery are incontinence and erectile dysfunction we stratify those risks down to the individual in front of us but for the majority of patients in my hands you'll have a one percent risk of permanent incontinence and a five to ten percent risk of stress urinary incontinence there are factors in terms of your personal characteristics that might affect this but again we will talk to you about that at the time from an erectile dysfunction point of view if you have excellent erections when you attend then i'll counsel you depending on your cancer parameters about your outcomes from potential nerve sparing and whether that's appropriate for you. With a nerve spare procedure, you have a 70% chance of regaining natural erections at two years after your surgery. But from a recovery perspective, I think it's important to say that as soon as you feel ready, we can commence you on what we call phosphodiesterase inhibitors or Viagra type medication. We can start you on a vacuum pump and we can start your sexual recovery um, 
which is multifactorial as soon as is needed. Thank you very much for listening.